are you? This guy that's running for president just said this yesterday. The mall. I was at the Washington Monument. I... Now he's talking about the speech that he gave on January 6th uh, near the Washington Monument. I had crowds. I don't know who's ha ever had a bigger crowd than I have, but I had it many times. The biggest crowd I've ever spoken before was that day. And I'll tell you, uh, it's very hard to find a picture of that crowd. You... I'm getting ready to show you a picture of that crowd. The question he was asked was, what about Kamala Harris's big crowds? That she's filling up these stadiums. And in fact, she's filled up stadiums to the top that he was in just a week before and the top was empty. So his answer was to compare himself to... See the picture of a small number of people relatively going to the Capitol. But you never see the picture of the crowd, the biggest crowd I've ever spoken. I've spoken to the biggest crowds. Nobody's spoken to crowds bigger than me. Nobody. But he's going to think of somebody that had a big crowd and his crowds were bigger. Get ready. If you look at Martin Luther King when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything, same number of people. If not, we had more. And they said he had a million people, but I had 25,000 people. But when you look at the exact same picture, and everything's the same because it was the fountains, the whole thing, all the way back to uh, from Lincoln to Washington. Okay, so Donald Trump, because he's such a super stable genius, decides to compare himself to one of the greatest Americans, one of the most popular people in the history of time, Martin Luther King, and saying that his crowd was bigger on January 6th, the day that he incited the riot, the insurrection to go in and break into the Capitol. Let's see here. What do we got? Okay. Let's see. The New York Times says that there were 53,000 people estimated at Donald Trump's and an estimated 250,000 people here on the right at Martin Luther King's. Let's see. What else we got here? Here we go. There's January 6th on the left here. And then here's Martin Luther King waving at 250,000 people. Nice. And then uh, let's see. Here's January 6th. This is from behind the stage where Trump's going to be standing. See, there's a few people out there. That's nice. And then bam! <laughs> it's full from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial. Dun, 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 dun. That is just, I mean, he's bone crushingly stupid. Trump is, I'm sorry. It's, you're not stupid because you support him. You've just been taken in. He's an idiot The to, to do this politically is just like, really, it's not even trolling. And you look at it and you look at the picture of his crowd, my crowd. Uh, we actually had more people. We actually, they said I had 25,000 and he had a million people and I'm okay with it. Cause I liked Dr. Martin Luther King. He drew 53,000 people, which is a huge crowd. It's a huge crowd. He can't even take credit for the crowd he actually had. He underestimates what they said and then overestimates Martin Luther King. But oh, shit, he's just a nut. He's a nut. I well, think that uh, the people of January 6th were treated very unfairly. And they, where they were there to complain, not through me, they were there to complain about an election. And, you know, it's very interesting. They were there to stop the counting of the votes of the electoral college and to certify that uh, biden had won the election interesting the biggest crowd i've ever spoken to and i said peacefully and patriotically which nobody wants to say but i said peacefully and patriotically the it was neither peaceful nor patriotic to break into the capitol building and stop an election that's not patriotic that's revolutionary that's insurrectionist that's what happened during the civil war and none of those people biggest anyway. crowd i've ever spoken to and you've seen maggie i was in talking to maggie haberman who's like his apologist at the mall i was at anyway. the washington anyway thanks for tuning in